I'm giving this episode, which is episode 9, a 7.4. I like this episode. The thing is, is I thought that something bigger was going to happen. I didn't mind seeing uh, this avatar that manifested itself and go to school or go to the school in place of her sister. That's what she uh, presented herself. This uh, avatar, which now we know this, her name is Lilia. That's her name, which is basically close to Lily. It is her avatar, and that's why she looks like Lily, but an older or more mature Lily. That's why she's more well endowed, has a figure, has a has a more feminine figure than Lily. While Lily looks like more like a child, or presents herself more as a child. I'm not sure if she can actually uh, maybe transform into a like a more mature because we didn't we haven't seen her full extent of her power i actually do want to see that and eventually we probably will see it because they d eventually did show up uh the people that were playing in the shadows the other angels i'm assuming the villains of this series finally showed up at the end but i like I said, I didn't mind. I thought that something big was going to happen. And I thought that the reason why her avatar manifested in her room was uh, maybe something of an attack happening. She was sick. And the reason I think she was sick was because of what happened during episode 8. Her heart was broken. And that is Lily, not Lilia. Her heart was broken. And also she was sitting in that puddle of water... For who knows, say like a um, couple of minutes. It's like 10 minutes tops, which is bad. Uh, I would say you, you have at least say a minute or two or maybe three minutes the most to get yourself out of that water and uh, make sure that you don't get sick. Which, that's why her avatar showed up. Maybe to make sure that her quote-unquote sister doesn't miss a day as, as, an abs as an absence. Maybe she wants her sister to keep her perfect attendance. But uh, we eventually did find out why she showed up, and that is to confront Akatsu. Because the main reason why she probably showed up, or the main reason why she, uh, she manifested herself and decided to um, impersonate herself as her older sister, is to confront Akatsu. And because Lily was heartbroken, and she could feel the same emotion, the same pain that Lily does, because she's now inside of her now, and she feels and she feels everything. She feels the joy that she's having. She sees everything. She knows the ins and outs of Lily, so that's why she confronted um, Akatsu. That's why, because she knows that her master is feeling down. Eventually, everything goes gets smoothed out. It's a good thing. Because there's a major battle that might be happening in the next episode. Because uh, if, you, if you're divided, you don't want to talk to each other, you're not going to be willing to help out each other when a big something big is going to happen. And I'm glad that they resolved everything after they meet up with Lily in her apartment. And solved everything. Even though... He was giving attitude. Lily was giving attitude to Akatsu. Because, of course, you're meeting the guy who comes with the girl that he was in a date with. And, of course, he's going to make you mad. He's going to be frustrated. And uh, causes her heart to be broken again. He's <laughs> uh, seen all this pain, all these emotions. He, he takes it out on Akatsu. Uh, you, every girl... Every person that has a crush, and they see your crush, you see your crush come with the the person that you maybe were spy on them to that were they were on their date, so so on called date, which was not a date date, according to a, a Yuka, but uh, of course Lily doesn't know that. She's not that smart to think like Yuka's playing a game on her, but uh, all that led to what she heard from Akatsu, which is, of course, he was thinking, like, in his, for demons, uh, like, you can't, it, there, there's no chance, 
because she's an angel and he's a demon and you couldn't say that he has to think it she didn't hear it because she can't read minds but that's what he had to say because they can't they, they're different species they're different kinds of races he's a demon and she's an angel that's why that's why he said no there's no chance there's not a future with her there can never be a future which did upset her but eventually in this episode he reassured her that a if there were angels like you this is what he told her if there were angels like you then we could coexist basically and there could be a chance that of course they can go out as a couple which made her happy but he said like hey this is a stupid question like if this is a possibility then this could happen which if she isn't if all the angels were like her then the demons can coexist with each other with the, the angels they can go coexist together and eventually would maybe fall in love with each other one of them or some of them would fall in love with the angels uh, and the demons which like I said made her happy which calmed her down which made her feel better which also made her feel better and got rid of her sickness that's what she needed to hear like basically he basically telling her like because he figured out like why she was mad like okay she heard, must have heard like okay I said something and she must have heard it while I was on that date with Yuka and that's why she's upset with me that's why because she heard it she heard me say that there's no chance yeah there's no chance that they could be together and uh, with him saying that I'm, I'm assuming that he knows that there's other angels and they don't act like her they're not like her who treat demons like uh like they just need rehabilitation basically she doesn't actually exercise demons unlike uh i'm assuming this these two groups or these two people that she would probably eventually face versus the guy i guess i guess the guy's the test uh i'm not sure if it's a brother or something it could be a family feud i'm not sure i may, maybe just angels look the same <laughs> or they just all are, have blonde hair i'm not sure but um if all these if he just says that right there that shows me that he's seen a lot of angels and the majority of them actually do um, uh, basically murder kill his kin his kind his own like people he has seen it happen that's why he said it like that like if there is a possibility that there's more angels like you then there's a chance that we can coexist together. He didn't actually said that, but he was like, then we can maybe do something together. Bas basically reassuring her like that there's a chance, but is there really a chance if all angels are like that? If they're the majority, then there has to be a big major change in order for that. I, I don't I don't know how it's gonna happen. I don't know what's gonna happen. I don't know why they are going after her basically they basically have like an, a vendetta against her against Lily these uh, these two uh, these two people like I said it could be a sibling thing uh, I'm my heart is saying it's a sibling thing could be that she disagrees with her uh, them um, maybe that's why she also left heaven it could be and she also, she's, it is, she is enjoying her life there. She may be forgetting about her revenge, which uh, is a bad thing when you have people that are going after you, when they're seeking you out. Remember, she has an actual mission. Uh, and, and that mission is not to exterminate demons, but to go after her enemies, which is basically revenge i don't know what happened i don't really like um let's say um like, like um background like I don't, I don't like watching people's history i don't like seeing like like what happened in the past but like 
I want to see that. I want to see what happened in the past to to um, get what's like what's going on. Why is this happening? Why are they targeting her specifically? Is it just because she doesn't do what other angels do? And that, like say, like 99.99% of angels act that way? I don't, I don't know. I, I literally don't know. I, all I can say is just, I gotta watch episode 10 in order to see what's happening. But now, yeah, we are heading into the back three. Uh, the back three. I thought we were gonna get something in this episode. We did eventually at the end. Uh, this is why I gave it a 7.4 because I did enjoy it. I did like uh, seeing her. Uh, and that is Lily, uh, Lilia, not Lily, Lilia, and and the way she presented herself. Uh, she actually defended her master, uh, what an avatar should do. Listen to her master. Listen, uh, help her out when she needs it. Uh, fear her emotions. I don't know what would happen if Lily couldn't actually revert her back to her normal self in episode six. I don't know if uh, these uh, these evil people that are after her, these two people that are after her, would have actually stopped if she was actually, uh, this avatar was actually killing her own master. Because she remember she was under the control of somebody else. She was acting out of her master. Which uh, also she did, uh, Lilia did apologize though. She said like, I'm sorry for attacking you. But like I said, the main reason was because the reason why she showed up to that school. Not for anything else but to confront Akatsu and what he did to her in the previous episode. In that date after, because she actually does feel the emotions of her master. She feels like, oh look, he's hurting her. So I got to do something. I got to confront him. So it was nice to see that. <laughs> it was pretty funny. It was pretty funny the way she had attacked him multiple times. Multiple times. It was funny. It was also funny that she didn't want to go back to her master because <laughs> she was not supposed to do that. <laughs> she, she, she was not supposed to go to the school. But uh, she didn't know that until she actually saw Lilia. I did enjoy, like I said, I did enjoy this episode. I did enjoy it. I liked it. I didn't fully like it, but I liked it. Like I said, I thought I there was something big that's gonna happen, but eventually it is gonna happen. And with that guy showing up at the end, something big is gonna happen. And I'm glad that everything's all calm, calm before the storm. Everything was calm until the storm came and that it, the storm is that this group these people are finally coming out. And I'm glad they're finally coming out. I would, I would be pissed if they didn't show up and at 10. Like, where are they? Where are these two? When are they finally going to show up? And I guess he was searching for her. Uh, I thought they knew already where she was. But I, I don't think they, they can sense where she was until they actually, actually went around and looked around that area. Now they found her. But like I said, everything fine and dandy until that point. So everything's all good. Everything should be good. And if they, if this guy just randomly attacks them in the next episode, just goes in, just full on attack, then of course they're gonna back each other up. Because if, if nothing was calm before that incident happened, I don't think they would be backing each other up. I'm glad that she's happy. I'm glad that Lily's happy. She's so happy that she's willing to actually look at a hand that touched Okatsu and sleep sleep with a happy face. I'm glad. I'm glad that they're happy until that moment. <laughs> until that moment. Until that guy showed up. But uh, please drop a comment in the comment section and I'll see you on the next video. I'll see you on the next one. Peace out.